Oh, oh, I'm right out of breath. Climbing up those stairs with that heavy thing. Oh, hello there. I'm Mr Perkins. I'm one of the engine drivers on the island of Sodo. Mr Edwards, the signalman, loves strawberries. So, I brought him this strawberry plant to brighten up his signal box. It's heavier than I thought, though. I think I'm going to need a little rest. Ah! Oh, I just remembered a story where Gordon plays a trick on Thomas, and Thomas was very tired. It was the first story about Thomas that I ever heard. Ah, here it is. Would you like to hear it? I would. Ah. Thomas and Gordon. Thomas was a cheeky little engine. He thought no other engine worked as hard as he did, so he used to play tricks on them, especially Gordon. One day, Gordon was resting on a siding. He was tired after pulling the express. He was just going to sleep when Thomas came up in a cheeky way. Wake up, lazy bones, he whistled. Do some hard work for a change. You can't catch me. And he ran off laughing. That Thomas. Instead of going to sleep again, Gordon thought how he could pay Thomas back. One morning, Thomas wouldn't wake up. His fire went out and there wasn't enough steam. It was nearly time for the express. The people were waiting, but the coaches weren't ready. At last, Thomas started. Come on, said the coaches, hurry up. Thomas gave them a bump and started for the station. Thomas fussed into the station where Gordon was waiting. Hurry up, you, said Gordon. Hurry up yourself, said cheeky Thomas. Yes, said Gordon. I will. Thomas usually pushed behind the big trains to help them start. But Gordon started so quickly that they forgot to uncouple Thomas. The train went faster and faster, too fast for Thomas. He wanted to stop, but he couldn't. Hurry, 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 laughed Gordon in front. But Thomas was going faster than he had ever gone before. I shall never be the same, he thought sadly. My wheels will be quite worn out. At last, they stopped in the station. Phew. Everyone laughed to see Thomas puffing and panting behind. Well, little Thomas, chuckled Gordon, now you know what hard work means, don't you? Poor Thomas couldn't answer. He had no breath. He just puffed slowly away to rest and had a long, long drink. He went home very slowly and was very careful afterwards never to be cheeky to Gordon again. <laughs> well, Thomas can still be pretty cheeky sometimes, but I know how he feels about wanting a drink. I wonder if this strawberry plant would like a drink too. There you go.